Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be my second episode of Hogwarts Legacy. And so now I'm going to continue the play here. I'm going to do a couple story missions and some side quests just to get some stuff out of the way because I don't have everything yet because there's this thing here called talents, which I clearly don't have just yet. Hopefully that unlocks with the next couple story quests. Um, but anyway, here we go. Um, to be honest, I'm actually very impressed with this game so far because it is... What did he just do? Don't know what that is. Um, I'm very impressed with the game so far. The combat and the spells are fairly interesting. And they're not. these are not all the spells you learn. These are all the spells you can potentially learn here, which also include some of these ones down here and some of these ones here. Um, and I guess there's some side quests that you can do later that actually give you access to the three unforgivable curses, Imperio, uh, the Cruciatus Curse, and uh, Avada Kedavra, which, from what I understand, you don't get this one in particular until later in the game, like almost towards the end, which that's okay. You don't need it right off the bat, but these ones apparently can be accessed much sooner. Um, and I imagine all of these spells have their various uses and they're, they're going to be important in their own way. I think the red ones are supposed to be like attack spells. Um, purple are force spells. So... Anyway, we'll figure that all out as we go. Um, anyway, so now I'm on my way to go see Professor Fig. Apparently he's got something for me. And I think I'm going to try and avoid as much fast travel as possible, just because there's a lot to explore in this game, and I kind of want to explore as much of it as possible. Plus there's like different clothing and defensive options that you can get throughout the game, which you get through some of the exploration stuff. Oh, and I'm going to do this puzzle really quick. So this is just a quick math puzzle. The symbols on the outside correspond to the numbers 0 through 9, and all you have to do is add up enough totals to make up the middle number. So we've got a spider and the number 1, which means that's the uh, spiders in the eighth position, so that's eight plus one is nine, which means we need four to uh, to complete it. Which means four is that one up at the top right there. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like an owl on a perch or something, some kind of bird on a perch, I I suppose. And so you have to find these things. Yeah, it's some kind of bird. It's definitely some kind of bird. But anyway, and then the other one is 13 plus the three-headed hydra, which is in the fourth position, which is actually num the number three, because it's zero, one, two, three. So that's 16, so I need five, which I think is that crab-looking one right there. Um, oh, I just passed it. We'll get there again. There it is, okay. I'm not sure what that thing is supposed to be, but I'm calling it a crab, because it kind of looks like a crab. But anyway, inside you get some collections, and you can find uh, different items. I'm sure there's money sometimes in some of these. Um, there's also a bunch of smaller chests around that also have stuff. So, like, the Wigan Weld potion is like your healing potion. And I'm going the wrong direction now. Which I think actually at the bottom of the staircase is another small puzzle. Yep, see? Lumos. So you do Lumos on these and you have to find the location of that picture, which was just where I was. So I'm going to go back up to the top and we're going to find. So this is the location, so that's what I have to move, and the only way you can move it, so that's a moth, and you Lumos. move it with Lumos. So now it's attracted to your light, and you just carry it down the stairs. Which, 
I'm not sure. These don't give you anything except some of, like, the collection stuff. So... It's still important if you want to do, like, the 100% of the game, which is something I certainly want to do, but... I'm going to try not to do as many of those as, like... I'm, I would like to do all of them, but I'm going to try to limit myself while I'm actually playing. So now I'm on my way to Fig's office here, which I'm not actually sure what he teaches. So we're just going to... Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not sure what he teaches, so... Um... And you know, you, you read stuff in like the Harry the Harry Potter books, and they always talk about how there's like specialty staircases or stairs where like your feet sink through, and like I don't know how they would implement that in the game, but so far, every staircase I've gone up doesn't um, doesn't have that kind of stuff in it. Oh, there was something here I thought. Revelio. So that's the Revelio spell, and it shows me items of uniqueness. So it looks like there's a chest over there. I want to go take a look at real quick. This just looks like, yeah, this is just flu powder right there. And then this is the chest it showed me, which I need the Aloha Morha spell, which I don't have just yet. So hopefully before too long, I will be able to get that spell. Um, sorry, I am rushing through some of this because I did. Ooh, we got a new wand. Uh, a new wand handle. So this is my wand. Um, it is an elder wand with a phoenix feather core type and its flexibility is unyielding meaning I guess it doesn't have much flexibility at all. Um, but you can get different wood handles which are mostly just um, cosmetic but I actually quite like that a lot so I'm gonna use that one for a time. Um, something else they don't tell you so you have a bunch of different things for items. So right now I'm wearing this scarf and I can wear this scarf. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad with my current outfit. But if you want the attributes of the item in question, but you don't like the look of it, you can actually change your appearance with X or I think it's square with PlayStation. And you can actually change the appearance while keeping the attributes. Um, and you can even remove it, quote unquote, um, but I actually kind of like the teal, the greenish teal color that it's associated with it. So like my current set of gloves, I'm wearing, wearing these ones, but because I've changed the appearance, it's, you don't get the fingerless gloves. Um, see, and I, I also get broom upgrades and flying mounts later. So I'm not sure when that happens, but I need to get talents unlocked because I imagine those are like, the upgrade trees and like different skills and things you can have so we are going to let her here okay so the prof the headmaster is Phineas Nigellus Black which if you don't recall who that is he is he's actually in the seventh and fifth book of Harry Potter so he's an Order of Phoenix and he's in Deathly Hallows um, he is the unpopular headmaster who was once the head of the black family um and so his portrait was inside grim old place number 13 um so it, that's pretty interesting also one of your professors is a professor weasley which i assume is given the time frame it's either arthur weasley's mother or Arthur Weasley's grandmother. I'm going to assume grandmother, but I can't say for sure cuz obviously they don't they haven't talked about it yet. Anyway, here's some story stuff going on. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Yeah, so, so those the are the trolls I was talking about earlier. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. 
The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. So there is some dialogue options. I don't know how relevant those are going to be just yet, because this is still fairly early game. I imagine some of them with some of the more important characters you meet are going to matter, but some of them is just like information dumps. Um, some of the early classmates you talk to in the Ravenclaw Tower, and I assume in like Gryffindor and Hufflepuff and Slytherin, like they're just kind of information dumps of stuff. And it's not overly relevant. It's just you and the kid talking, I guess. Um, Speaking of the vault... But I imagine some of them are actually quite important. I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, Yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. This is not the Marauder's it's map, the by the way. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But sir, so... how dangerous could the library be? Hold on. Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hackett know to expect you. So, Miriam is Professor Fig's late wife who was investigating these sources of ancient magic that I... I still am not totally sure the significance of the ancient magic just yet. Ooh, I got some new gloves that are stronger than my current ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach those. And they actually don't look half bad, but I am wearing a brown coat. So I think I'll change the appearance back to the, I think, yeah, I was using the Hogwarts Regalia Glove appearance. So I'm still getting the bonuses, but I've switched the appearance around. Um, yeah, which they haven't really talked too much about Miriam just yet, but I imagine that before too long, we'll get some more coverage on her. I also get the feeling that maybe she's not totally dead just yet, but, you know, what do I know? I'm still... I'm still exploring the game. Sorry about that. Um, I also like that some some objects are destructible, but then I have the repair okay. spell, so I can just repair it really quick. Professor Rowan is the charms teacher for this time period, and he was the one who taught me that spell. So now we're going to go see Professor... Actually, I wanted to go up for a second, because I saw a chest. Yeah, there's a chest, supposedly. Oh, just got a book there. Um, so that's Peeves the Poltergeist, which he never appeared in the movies, but he was a very prominent figure in the books, or at least he was an annoyance in the books. Um, oh my god, there's so many cats all over the place. And, ooh, we've got Hello some... There. Perhaps you can help me. We've got some quests here. Some of these quests that you can do um, supposedly unlocks certain uh, certain collectibles or 
findable objects. I'm not sure which ones are supposed to do that. There was one that I played earlier that showed me how to do the mirror and moth quests. Oh, so this is one of those... Uh, so now I can get the description for the augury skeleton. But... See, that's just back up. I think right now I just want to do some main story missions and then we'll go on from there. So So this is another side quest here. Help me with my sad predicament. Let's talk to her. See what she has to say. Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports, Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. See, it's and they talk about gobstones a little bit gobstones. in Harry Potter. It's more like it's just it's mentioned. For losing. But yeah, same thing. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school.
So I do imagine that some of these side quests are going to be more or less pointless, mostly just for experience if you need it. Um, Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll that seems anyway, that seems a good answer there. I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Huh. Poor little girl. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Okay. Interesting. So it seems like... Oh, so it's actually just marked all of the locations for gobstones here in the castle. Okay. So that's a, col that's a collection uh, quest that I can do on my own time. For the moment, I think I want to do this one. I need to... I must learn the fire-making charm to continue. So let's take a look at my quests. And... Let's go to Professor Hecate's assignment first, because that seems like it'll be important. And this is the Defense Against the Dark Arts class here, and this is Professor Hecate, who is your ah, professor. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, <coughs> handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. So I to find me once you've finished. So I skipped over it um, because I recorded in my first video. So Professor Hecate um, possibly worked for the Ministry at one point, and this dragon skeleton that's hanging in the classroom was a gift to her for stopping poachers or something, which kind of seems ironic. Maybe that's the wrong word, but it just seems like, hey, I stopped some poachers, and then the guys were like, oh yeah, thanks for saving us from the poachers. Here's a dragon skeleton. Like, just seems... I don't know, it just seems annoying to me. Okay, so I need to go do... I need to win two rounds of crossed wands. wands. Secret as it's believed. And I have to complete a... Round of spell combination practice with Lucan Brattleby. So that must be. That I think is the. Um, one of the side quests that the character Sebastian gives you. Um, apparently he's got an unsanctioned uh, dueling club that he participates in. I imagine those quests are where you're supposed to be getting the unforgivable curses cr from. But I haven't attempted that just yet. Let's go to the Gryffindor Lower Hallway. And I can't get through there. I'd actually been... No, I don't think I've been over here. Oh, shut up, Peeves. You know, I wish you could learn, um... Rebellion. I don't know what people remember about the third book of Harry Potter, but when you meet Professor Lupin, he, um... When you meet Professor Lupin and he meets Peeves, he's just like, this is a useful spell. And he says, like, Wadi Wasi or something, and, like, the gum flies out of the... 
uh, the keyhole that Peeves is stuffing it with, and like I wish you could learn that spell. That seems like it would be super useful. Because Peeves is going to be annoying, I think. Unfortunately. Or I guess it's to be expected, I suppose. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Okay, so here's a bunch there's a bunch of these statues around and I think you have to Levioso. Yeah, Levioso it. And then you get more of the field guide pages. Okay. And talk to Lucan. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels across once. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I Seems agree. like I'm gonna Besides, win the crap out of this one. You can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me I'm the ready. Ring. Because I gotta do two rounds of this, I think. We'll make you regret signing up. Break through yellow shields with control spells like levitation, levioso. Target lock with R. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah, it seems pretty easy. Oh, and that's that. So I get to use, I get to use like magic or ancient magic spells sometimes, nice if I remember it. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second jewel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member. You now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. The combat in this game is much better than I was expecting. Because, like, I've, I only played one other Harry Potter game, and it was... Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on the Game Boy Advance, or the Philosopher's Stone, depending on where you live. Personally, Philosopher's Stone is the correct word, because for whatever reason, when they when they uh, published the, game, the, the books here in America, for some reason the publishers thought that people wouldn't understand the Philosopher's Stone or the term, so they just changed it to Sorcerer's, which doesn't help the matter, because, like... The Philosopher's Stone is something that's real in the concept of alchemy, so I, you know, I'm not going to get into it too much. Um, let's do my Hello, next round here. Is the next round of Cross Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Um, no. Duel I'll duel by myself. Then let's get to it. There's also a lot of a named There's also a lot of named characters in this game which is actually really quite cool in my opinion. Oh, you got to Okay, so there's different types of shields to break through. Okay. Easy enough. Accio. 
Lumos. Protego. Stupid. Levioso. Yeah, definitely doing much better. It's pretty easy, you're only f hitting one button to do this. I mean, like, some of the other spells require more buttons. And, like, the bumper is for ancient magic spells, which I don't quite understand just yet, but... You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. The okay, next so round I did... All the gobstones, so to speak. Okay, so I did two rounds of that. Now I have to complete a round of spell combination, which must mean I have to talk to him about Hello, Lucan. the dummy, the, the, train the training the dummy. dummy. Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That sure am. Be, be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes, because I haven't done much of this yet, so... Cast Accio, followed by four consecutive basic attacks. Okay. Accio. Simple enough. Now I have to do Levioso. Same thing. Pretty easy. Oh, so now I gotta do Levioso. Okay. See, I was a little more complicated. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Okay, so now... So now I can go back to Professor Hecate. Um, and you know what? I'm going to use the fast travel system for this one because I don't want to have to... Nope, I want to track it. Figs classroom, defense against the dark arts classroom. Let's just fast travel, call good. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Ah, Professor Hecate, yes. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found... I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far. But please, maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Which apparently is very important. And keep your wand steady. Okay learned that spell. Most of the spell learning seems pretty easy. It's all that kind of similar stuff. Um, so now I can go to the selection menu, and I can actually assign it to a different one. Um, we're going to replace Reparo for the time being. And I did unlock some new challenges, apparently. And I'm now level 9. How nice. So I did some more here, got that, and I got a new scarf, 
Lucky Leprechaun Gloves. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see where we get to b before the end of this. It's a heavy damage spell that unleashes destructive flames at short range. Incendio. Okay, that's pretty interesting. See, there's supposed to be a side quest here, but... Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Oh, you gotta wait for spells to recharge, apparently. Hadn't noticed that. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's must be, that's a locked quest, it looks like. Because on the minimap, there's like a lock in it. Alright, now to Professor Fig's classroom again, where I think we're going to learn the disillusionment charm, which will be very important, I imagine. There's so much exploration and there's so much space in this something that the books and the movies never really convey across is that there that the hogwarts castle and the grounds are just truly massive this game really captures that um because you can go literally anywhere like i think i went to the gryffindor tower at one point you can go all the way down to the dungeons and there's just a lot a lot in this game. Maybe he teaches... I'm not sure what he teaches. Oh, so I have to wait for evening, because we're going to the restricted section of the ah, library. Talk to the professor. Hello, You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckert. So I hear... She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So My apologies if my breathing is a little loud. Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I It seems as though I'm going to be going into the restricted section myself. Talk to Sebastian. He's a little out of the way, but that's part of the fun. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. And we're going to learn the disillusionment charm which is kind of like the invisibility spell, for those who don't remember. <clears throat> There's Sebastian. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? My apologies about that. Sometimes my family texts quite a bit, and so sometimes I have to stop and just look at text messages to see if it's important enough for me to warrant attention. Haha. 
My family is pretty hilarious sometimes. Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. I'm just going to say Thank see you tonight. Sebastian. Because that seems later. just important enough to... Like, obviously I could ask him the questions, but... Ooh, so now it's night time, which means... We're not supposed to be out right now. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. That is very true. Spells are truly free as long as you can figure it out. Okay. And I've mastered disillusionment already. Woohoo! Yeah, the spell learning in this is not typically is not particularly complicated. It's just a little annoying. Okay, so now I have to reset here. Um, we can put it in replace of Levioso for the moment. Okay, here we go. I wonder how long the disillusionment spell lasts. Like, do I have to turn it off or has it got a time limit? Use. Well, that was easy enough, I suppose. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? How does she Keep not see them? Desk. Now, here's what Stupid. Do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. See, Harry didn't even need the key when he was in his first year. I get the key. Understood. They must I have changed the you. rules or something. I keep my word. Trust me. So now I just have to get the key from her desk. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Okay. Here it is.
Uh oh. She's a little close to me, isn't she? That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. We're gonna find something particularly terrifying here. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Revelio. Okay. Okay, interesting. Ghost, don't let her see you. What ghost? Where was the ghost? Ah, there's the ghost. See, I'm starting to wonder when you actually pick up the talents. Because it seems like those are going to be really useful. Should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. Revelia. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully okay. critic. So, that chest over there is one of the specialty chests. Apparently you can't open it unless it, unless it can't see you. So you have to turn on the disillusionment charm. So you can get close enough to actually open those chests. But it also can't see you become invisible. So like, see how it's... Oh, well, that's kind of sad. The chest is, like, dead now? Maybe not dead, but... Certainly not happy that it got opened. Rebellion. Okay, quite a few things here. Um, we're going to put this one back on. We're going to assign it here for a second. Leviosa. More stuff. There's a chest here. And looks like we're going to have to... See, I knew Peeves was going to be a problem. Peeves, don't you... Oh, blast it, Peeves! I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. I get the feeling that now, Sebastian... that damned poltergeist got to? I get the feeling that Sebastian is not going to be who he turns out to be. Like, I don't know what exactly, but... I don't think he's going to end up being your friend at the end. And if he is, I mean, that's fine, and that's good, but it's just not what I'm predicting. Oh, that's Lumos, not Reparo. Reparo. Okay. Now we're in here by myself. Oh no, my gear slots are full. 
If I could, I'd go sell some stuff, but I kind of want to see what this item is. Did I pick up a new, another wood handle? Oh, I did. Now I'm going to stick with the teal blue corkscrew handle. That's way better. Tailored, tatters, all, is that right? Tatters all shirt and tie school uniform. You know, I'm just going to destroy that. So I can open this. Plaid school. Formal uniform. Okay. Alright. Down the stairs. Wish I could change my field of view in this game. Maybe on the PC you can, but... For the console, you definitely can't. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. For a second, I thought that was going to be the mirror of Erised. So it's like I can almost see backwards in time a little bit. How interesting. I wonder what I'm going to find. Something dangerous, I suppose. Got a chest here, which my gear slots are full still, and I don't want to have to come back here, so we're going to get rid of my regular gloves. Actually, I think I have a piece of gear that's worth nothing, and I'd prefer to destroy that. Yeah, get rid of those. I'm going to have to figure out how to upgrade my gear slots so that I can hold more stuff. Stuff. Are they not gonna... Is it not gonna let me open it? Okay, hold on. For some reason that's not gonna let me open it. So... We're going to... Load... From the most previous save, which was two minutes ago. Let's go right there. Sorry, I need to reload that one because I want I don't want to miss out on this item, whatever it is. And I'm sure I could come back later, but I want it now. Well, a little so farther than I you've been looking for. I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everything. Okay, let's get back into my gear. And cloaks and robes. Let's disassemble that. That way I can pick up that particular item when it comes around. Find a cure in the restricted section. Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everything. See, and it already shows that I picked this chest. So research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Well, to be fair, we also don't know exactly what's happening with our character. Oh no. I'm gonna skip through this since we already saw it. Oh, I can't skip through it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta laugh again. It's just so funny. Oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I Sorry, just making the same choices as I was before. Uh, no. These ones we can skip no. through. Where See, that was easy. Poltergeist got to. Just the spell to repair this on. Repair on. Oh, there's a chest again. Oh, it's just full of gold this time. Interesting. All right, back down the stairs. Of 
clearing a run over here. Ooh, there is a chest right there as well. Got a poacher's coat. There's another chest way down there. So let's find the other thing that's worth zero. I don't need that. We can get rid of it. Okay. Through the portal here. Because it's got to be some sort of portal that just gets you to the next location. Ooh, velvet school robe. Which is actually probably different than the one I just got rid of, but... Okay, I actually like that quite a bit. Um, but I think I'm still going to change my appearance to what I had before. Which was the leather long coat. I like this look. It looks nice. Plus I got the sunglasses. It just works. Where might this lead? Okay. Discover the secret of the antechamber. Revelio. Okay, there's something there that I'm going to have to... Let me answer. Not that one. So, we're going to change it to include... Oh, maybe it has to be Incendio. Oh, perfect. Never mind, just a basic spell. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Oh yay, new guards. Your gift of ancient mag magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Ten hits will begin to regenerate the magic power-ups. Okay. 